Here is a quick interview question on number ranges. Can number ranges overlap between say customer master and uh, a sales order? So there is customer master right say sold to and then payers or ship tos and they have a certain number range right say 100001002 so on then we have things like sales orders or quotations right or deliveries or invoices so on and so forth and the question is can a sales order have the same number range as a sold to 100001 or can an invoice have the same number range as a sales order we know that when we define number ranges number ranges should not overlap but what is the boundary of that overlap can customers have the same number ranges or can sales orders have the same number ranges in invoice do they mean an overlap if they have the same number or not the answer to this lies in something called as a number range object what is a number range object if you go to the transaction s n r o s n r o this is a transaction that spans all number range objects across all modules SD, MM, PP, FI, you name it. S N R O. And over here, you see that there are so many different number ranges or number range objects. The number range object for customer is debitor, D E B I T O R. this is the customer number range object for debitor so this is how sap internally distinguishes one set of number ranges from another so if you want to create a number range for customers you go to this transaction or under spro ing logistics general business partner that's where you can define number ranges for customers and if you want to define number ranges for sales documents you go to spro img sales and distribution sales and sales documents so number ranges are defined in different places for different set of objects if you think of a module like warehouse management they have number ranges too where do you define them you define them under the corresponding section of img in spro but what you have to understand is that for a particular number range object say debitor right debitor is the number range object for customer master number ranges so within that object you cannot have overlapping number ranges so debitor so we have seen two examples right one is debitor this is the number range object for customer master and for sales documents i think it's rv underscore b e l e g and for different kinds of documents there are different number range objects so within debitor within a number range object number ranges cannot overlap but you can have the same number range in debitor and the same number range in sales documents meaning across number range objects number ranges can overlap so once again the question is can number ranges overlap between customer master and sales order the answer is yes but how do you know that the key is to understand that number ranges are uniquely available at the number range object level so within a number range object there cannot be an overlap across number range objects there can be an overlap